although the Dow had a very positive day, notice that it did come up and test the T-line and failed. Now we have to see tomorrow, even though we're in the oversold area, uh, we need to definitely see bullish confirmation to tell us that the bulls are still in, especially uh, bringing it back up through the T-line. Otherwise, this was just an up day and a downtrend. We need to see confirmation. And it becomes easier to see confirmation in the NASDAQ where we did a bullish Hiromi spinning top, which means they're moving in the direction of how they open it tomorrow. So watching the pre-market futures will be a very good indication of whether they're going to continue down to the 200-day moving average or at least have a bounce back up to the T-line. The nice thing about candlestick signals is they give you an extremely high probability of what is going on in a price trend. For example, in the lean hog August chart, we had a left-right combination, bullish engulfing signal after a hammer doji. Then we had a doji again, trading above the T-line, and we know that if it, uh, is, the trend is going to continue, it's going to open positive, which it did. Now we've got a scoop-type pattern setting up, which also indicates a good, strong uh, uptrend from this level. That'll be it. Uh, we will be doing a special session tonight with uh, John Bollinger. Come join us. Uh, we'll see you in the chat rooms.